So what's going on? This is Chris. We're going to learn Ain't Nobody by Shaka Khan. We're gonna see what we can do to learn this well enough to play with a band. So we're gonna find out the chords, the basic groove, and any signature licks. Here we go. Nobody plays this. So this is the signature line that everybody remembers. F sharp, E flat, B flat. That line is A flat, F, D flat. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of uh, alternate picking here. Okay, and if I'm paying attention even deeper, the rest of the chords that's going on in here, if you listen, is E flat minor, D flat over E flat in the bass. I'm not gonna play the bass note. Hopefully there's a bass player. Okay, another thing that's very big in this song is this line right here. You got big distortion on. Maybe I want to do this, or maybe I want to go, or maybe I want to know this. Basically, rule of thumb, whatever the other guy's not doing, I'm going to do. Okay, so now we're in the verse. It's time to shut up. So what we're going to do is kind of come down, probably play these chords. Okay, cool. The chord progression is E flat minor into D flat major over E flat, and then when it moves, B into D flat over B. So I say these bass notes for you to be aware of the bass because that's important, but again, if you're playing with a bass player, probably don't play the bass notes, right? So we're gonna do something like that. Let's see how close we can match to the record. So we got B flat sus four B D flat back to E flat minor, right? Now we fly through the stars. Hope this night will last forever. Okay, I love this keyboard player right here, because while while we got this uh, B flat sus four thing, this keyboard player is still going. He still gives us that D flat occasionally, which is kind of like B flat minor seven. So back and forth between the sus fourth and the minor seven. It's, been so long. it's the time for this guitar. Yeah, the actual guitar part. It's power chords, but they're kind of like these high mid range power chords, right? Just these two notes. Something like that. Let's try that.
Sick. Okay, so this is the next part. And then it goes back to the original line. Cool. We got that lead in there. It's going to be uh, a D flat, basically a D flat triad, right? D flat, F, A flat to a B triad. B, E flat, G flat. Let's keep going. The bridge. Here we go. E flat minor nine into the D flat over E flat into yeah A flat minor. It sounds like straight into D flat. Okay, cool. But there's a ton of cool guitar stuff going on in this as well, so we'll pick out those parts right now too. Let's check that out. Oh, starting right at the top. If you're listening on headphones, the left ear, you've got that funky guitar player right there. Sometimes if I'm having a little trouble on the rhythm, I'm just gonna listen and maybe play it over a few times till I can kind of sing it. If I can sing it, I can play it. out those notes real quick for you it's a flat D flat B flat we walk down from B flat a flat to G flat so this is the whole line uh, three four one Basically that. If you play anything close to that, people will be like, oh my god, you caught that part? Let me not also forget that sick one-time lick. You're never gonna hire a second guitar player just to do. Alright, make sure you got your, your Corey Wong sweet plug-in. I don't know if it's the second position or the fourth. Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to be the second today. Oh, that's pretty nice too. I'm not sure. You decide. This is the part where I'm gonna start kind of jamming because you're in the live setting. This is the last part I gotta say. It now, if we know these chords of the chorus, we're able to really kind of let loose, be with the band now. So again, that's um, mm. it's basically like the top E flat minor to D flat over E flat. Mm. Ain't no uh, that second chord really is. G flat uh, major seven or major nine. Go. Yeah. 
So, that's happening. At some point, everybody's gonna say, F it, we don't need you to play this. We're just rocking out, all right? So that's where it's important to know these chords, so. My string broke just in time. Time to start editing this video. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Feel free to share it with anybody. Uh, if you found this useful, let me know. If there's any corrections or any pointers that you have for me, because I'm here to learn too, feel free to send them my way in the inbox or on the comments below. Just, uh, just don't humiliate me. All right. It's a weird thing to say. No YouTubers say that. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye. So I'm editing this video and it just occurred to me, I should probably make another video performing to this track. Maybe I'll have like a link that pops up like right there.